Do you remember when we were shooting Hacking the System? We went to a tiki bar. Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> the modern road makes a Mai Tai. So you've never had a Mai Tai before? No. Do you know anything about them? I, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like most tiki drinks, they're rum-based drinks. The Mai Tai, its origins are disputed. It was either created by trader Vic Bergeron or Don the Beachcomber, right on the early part of the tiki craze that happened right after World War II, when people were coming back from the Pacific Theater. So this is why I associate it with the 1950s then. Absolutely. I'll tell you this much, if I am gonna experience my very first Mai Tai, I want it to be made by none other than Trevor. Thank yes. you very much, sir. Trevor, tell everyone where they can find you on Twitter. Uh, you can find me at Barstool Theory. Let's express again, we are in a secret bar in downtown Austin that you have to know the code to get into. It doesn't have a Disguised sign. Disguised as a perfectly legitimate business. Yes, and it is amazing. It's also horror themed inside, which makes it my jam. Oh, I didn't even realize that. That's it, How it did is. you not realize? <laughs> what, the floor I mean, is the carpet from The Shining. Yeah, okay, all right, all right. So what is a Mai Tai and what is in it? There are a lot of different components to a Mai Tai, but this one's really easy to make. And I feel like if you go out and look, you're just gonna be inundated by too many different recipes. So let's keep it simple here. Yeah, yeah. The great thing about make, when you make cheeky drinks is, you don't have to have tools. You need a shaker, you need ice, you need booze, you need a cup and you got a tiki drink. We're gonna be using a light rum and a dark rum. So we're gonna start off with one ounce of uh, plantation. This is aged five years. It's a Barbados rum. What is the difference between a light rum and a dark rum? Uh, it depends on the distillation process, what sugar's added. The rum is like the wild, wild west of liquors. There aren't many regulations on it, and you can do more in the distillation process than you can, say, with whiskey or gin. So you're saying this is, we are in the process of sorting out what's what and deciding what names. Oh, okay, exactly. Very cool. And most tiki drinks are rum-based drinks. What is it about rum and seafaring vessels? Like, why, why is rum suddenly great on boats? I think that most of the islands that the seafaring vessels and the pirates were around were growing sugar cane. They all have sugar. And that's where the rum comes from. Got it. And then next we're gonna go with an ounce of light rum. Today we're using uh, Florida Cana. So these are all pretty standard boilerplate rum. You're gonna be able to find these rums in most liquor stores. Next, we're gonna use a dry curacao. This one is actually a triple sec from the island of curacao. He directed Seven Samurai. Uh, no, no, uh, okay. No. <laughs> what is a curacao? I know a triple sec is a liqueur, but, but what is curacao, triple sec, Cur what is it? Curacao is a dry liqueur made from oranges. Next, we're gonna do a three quarter ounce pour of lime juice. Oh, so this is uh, zestier than I thought. And then we're going to add a orange shot. This is an almond flavored uh, simple syrup. Wait, I'm sorry, was that English? What? Orjot. 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 Okay, and we learned that a simple syrup is uh, granulated sugar mixed and water. water. Mm -hmm. Got it. And this one is pure sugar cane uh, mixed and that is boiled with almonds to get the oils oh, and fat wonderful. out of Very an almond. Cool. And this is actually nothing exotic either. You can find this on most shelves. So now we're going to do a 0.75 or three quarters of an ounce uh, pour of Orjot. Now, with this drink, there's just a couple different steps, so we're gonna add ice to our tin. Now, previously, we've always done the big blocks because we haven't wanted to dilute this, but this, it looks like we're doing some crushed ice. Exactly. Uh, when you do tiki drinks, a lot of times they're overproof or have more flavorful liquors in them. You want a little, by, little bit of dilution. You want some water in your drink, in your tiki drink. This is not a bad thing. So we're gonna take our ice, we're gonna get some crushed ice in there as well. We're gonna fill that to the brim. We're gonna take our liquor with our crushed ice. We're gonna cap it off. And normally, when you have cubed ice or you're doing a more of a classic drink, you're gonna shake it a really long time. With tiki drinks, boom, you're done. Oh, that's it? Yeah. I thought for sure you were gonna go nuts shaking it so we, it was super dilute. No. It's because the uh, ice is already all crushed and broken up. Now this drink isn't quite done. After we pour this in, we are gonna add even more booze. A lot of times you'll use like a 151 a, a really, really overproof rum. Think lemon heart. Now we say Bacardi. overproof, you mean just higher than is pleasant to drink. Anything that's over 100 is overproof. Got it. But this time we're just gonna use a dark Myers rum. So like three different types of rum? Yes, and just float it right on top. <laughs> you said that with so much reverence. <laughs> you mean like three types of rum? Then I've been down this road, Brian. I know oh, how wow, it I'd ends. Add some spank mint, and you're done. Wow, okay, man, so I could smell the mint from here. That's crazy. So we've got three different types of rum. The Curacao, the Orjot, the lime juice, 
in the mint. Mm -hmm. Man, I feel, I feel like you have honors on this one. I mean, it's like you worship tiki culture, <laughs> man. <laughs> I have been meaning all summer to learn oh, how wait, to wait, make- Oh, wait, wait, wait. We're doing tiki, right, guys? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. This, this glass doesn't do uh, it any <laughs> justice. We need something tacky. Uh, yes. Oh, my there God. We go. I actually have a collection of tiki mugs at home. No, it's tiki. Dude, yeah. dear in kitchen, eat your heart out. That's refreshing. I feel like I'm on an island. Quick side note, what does it change in the drink to slurp it through a straw? With a tiki drink, you want to get it down as fast as possible all because right, you're right, typically right. wearing an ugly shirt that you regret buying. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to say this looks like I used to look. Ah, it's got the little Brian Brushwood. <laughs> it's got the O'Brien haircut. <laughs> look at that. Oh. Is that beeswax? How do you do that? It's just mine. Get out of here. <laughs>